day three began with another iconic bridge and driving through sunny San Francisco. It was crazy to see how many people had come from all over the world to see the Golden Gate Bridge. When something's just a couple cities away, it's hard to appreciate it, but standing there in front of it, it's really hard not to. Now getting to the Enchanted Forest would take a second, so I built in a stop that I found on a website called Thrillist that lists all sorts of interesting things that you can do in any area, and I found Fort Bragg. I'd be staying in the cutest little cottage in the woods, but the real draw of Fort Bragg is Glass Beach, where the sands glitter every different color from all the beached glass. But it wasn't until I got to Glass Beach and I read a placard that I realized that the history of this town is actually much darker. The reason for a fort in such a beautiful place is not the defense of our country. It was established when the lumber industry had their eyes set on the coastal redwoods that grew there. And its official purpose was to maintain order. But no one talks about the natives who were displaced or the fact that Glass Beach is only Glass Beach because it was once a dump where trash was just piled high and burned. But I guess history is written by the victors. Today, Fort Bragg is filled with the friendliest and most hospitable people, but as I readied myself for the next part of my journey, my heart still ached for the special corner of the world and the people who once called it home. As beautiful as Fort Bragg is, I wish I could have seen it before greed got to it.